this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Blockly to create something like this in your BuddyBus app. Now, this is a bunch of UI cards that I have inserted into an app page, and each of them would direct you to a specific URL that I have already designated for the UI card. So for example, if I click on this card, this would take me to a video in YouTube. I can use the same to redirect to a profile, which is a native app page. I can use that to go to a Lendash lesson, just like that. So let me show you how to use Blockly to create something like this. After you purchase Blockly, you're going to get two folders. One is the main Blockly plugin that you are going to install on the website. And the second one is the app kit that you are going to install or put into your GitHub repo. So when I open up this app kit here, you're going to see that all the necessary things you need for custom development in BuddyBus app is already here. And you can also grab this folder directly from BuddyBus because the GitHub repository that contains this folder is maintained by BuddyBoss. Now, along with all the files that are here, this is the most important file as far as Blockly is concerned, which is this index.js file. Now, this is where all the things that you need in order for Blockly to work in your app lives right here. So the first you wanna do is go ahead and install the plugin. Here I am on my website. I have installed Blockly here. And so you can see Blockly comes with multiple UI card options that you can use to create your UI cards. And so in this release, we are releasing the video card, the graphic card, and the postcard. The featured card will be coming in a couple of days. After installing Blockly, you want to go ahead and click on plugin license and put in your license code that was provided to you when you purchased the Blockly. And go ahead and activate your license. So after you've installed Blockly and activated your license, you can go ahead and click start here. This will take you to a mock-up page on our website where you are going to get a reference guide of the different fields that you can use to create your blocks. So in this case, you can see the feature cards, you can see the design, and then the different fields that you need to fill in in order for you to get this design. So what we're trying to create here is we're using a video card. So I'm going to go ahead and click on video. And this is the card that we're using here. That's this card that you see. You can see here it's style one. This is very important. And then um, you need to put the post title. You need to put the subtest. So you can see here that this scaling your YouTube channel is the title. And then the name here is subtext and the time, assuming that this is a video, the time is uh, meta text one. And then the picture itself is the graphic one. Now, if we jump back to Blockly and we are going to go ahead and create a video card. So I'll come here and I'll click on the video card. Uh, since I already know I need the post title, so I'm going to do and then I'm going to put name and then the next thing is because I see from here that in, in order for me to put this time here, which is uh, 19. I'm going to um, put it in the meta text one. So I'll go ahead and find meta text one and I'll put 19. Now the next field that I need is the graphic image. So the image actually, I need to upload the image. So I'm gonna go back here and then remember it says graphic one, right? Not background image. That's why you have to follow this guide. And so you come here and then you click on upload image and then you go ahead and upload your image. Once you're done, you go ahead and publish. I've actually gone ahead and duplicated that post so that we can have more cards. The next thing you want to now do is to go into your BuddyBus app plugin and go to app pages. Now, once you get to your app page, 
Let's create a new app page. I'll call this text. Now click here to add a block. Once you come down here, you're going to see Blockly blocks. So we're using the video block. So I'll go ahead and click video. Now I've inserted that. And the way we built Blockly, you can already see a preview of the blocks that you're using. And so we already saw that this particular design is style one, right? Had it been I wanted to do this one, then it's going to be style two, just like that, you know? So let's go back here. Now where it says style, right? You can click here and select whichever style you want. So if I select style two, this is style two, which corresponds to that one. This one is style three right there. And then you have style four, style five, style six. So let's go back to style one. This is what we're using. And then you can go ahead now, um, if you have categories, you can select a category, but in this case, I don't have any category. So it's going to pull all of the posts that are under this video card post type. You can also select specific posts if you want. So you can come here and select a specific post, but because this is a, a horizontal carousel, you want to have more than one post. And then here you can specify the number of items that you want to return. If it's blank, it's gonna return as many as is available, but you can set it to return five, six, whichever you want, and then go ahead and publish that. Wow, once you refresh the screen, you can see that block that we created. So in this case, you can scroll left and right. Now, one thing I didn't show you is when you're creating a post for your card, you need to put the URL for where Blockly is going to direct or where the card is going to direct the user to. So let's go back here to all video cards. Let's open this. So right here where it says the deep link or target URL, this is where you are going to insert whatever link that you want the cart to go to. So I'm going to copy a YouTube video link and paste here. So I'm going to put this YouTube video link here and then click. So let me make sure that I have my name in here and I click update. So I'm going to go ahead now and refresh my app again. And once I click on that first card, it's going to take me to that YouTube link that I had just provided. I can click on the second one because I put in the link to my profile. Third one is a link to a Lendash lesson. So now you can see how easy it is to use Blockly. Now, if I want to change this style, still the same information, but I want it to look differently. So I'm gonna go into the app page. I'll take this and I'm going to actually duplicate this. And once I duplicate this, I'll select the first, second one. I'm going to go ahead and change the style to style six. I'm gonna go ahead and change the start to style six and update this. So I've duplicated this and I selected style six for this particular one here. I'm gonna pull down on my screen and there you go. <laughs> wow, you got that. Now I'm gonna put a space between the two blocks because you can see that they're kind of almost squished together. And that's really very simple. So I'll just come back here and I will search for a spacer. And I'll grab this spacer into my app. 
and right here you can reduce that so I'll set that to about 10 pixels and and I'm going to update now I'm gonna put that on my screen and there you go I got a space between the two of them and you can do the same I mean you can and what is so good about Blockly is that every week you can refresh your app with a completely different design and we're going to be making more UI cards and other functionalities that we're going to be adding here so expect even much more cooler designs that are going to come up in the subsequent weeks so this is how you set up your git repo connect blockly and start building your ui cards if you have any questions please go ahead and reach out to us at support at blockly.dev thank you